Hello, my name is Amir Renee. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a review on products provided by Soapbox. So in today's video, I'm going to do a wash day and also show you guys how I prep for a protective hairstyle. So in my hair, this is a old two-strand twist with the pearl rods. I'll leave a link, I think, right here. So my last video, that's how my hair was. Just the last two days, I put it up in a big old puff. And now I'm going to wash my hair and give myself and my hair a break and put in a protective hairstyle. So as that being said, I am going to go wet my hair and show you guys how I wash it. I'll be right back. I'm excited to try this. My first time trying a shampoo bar. This is a coconut oil shampoo bar. It says it locks in moisture and repairs damaged dry hair. So excited to try this. So since I'm not at uh, the sink, like I don't feel like going. Mm. Oh, it smells. It smells really good. It smells like coconut. So I just went downstairs and wet my hair. Saturated my hair in water. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do this since I'm not at the actual sink. My spray bottle, I just have plain water. Make sure the section is saturated. I guess I'm gonna wet my hands to make sure my hands are soaking wet. Oh, that smells so good. Let's see how it lathers up. Great leather. Also I'm gonna try when I see how this go. Okay. Oh, it feels good. It feels moisturizing, does not feel like it's stripping my hair at all. And also, as you can see, I feel like I could detangle with this shampoo. It's not too many shampoos I feel like I could detangle with. But sometimes it's so stripping that I feel like it makes my hair super dry and hard to pull apart. But okay, okay. You see that? Squeaky clean and this smells so good. Let's try it again on the next section. And by the way, this is how I shampoo my hair lately. <clears throat> no matter what shampoo I use, I use a spray bottle and I sit down at the table, my vanity, and spray my hair, making sure that it's wet, and just put shampoo on my scalp. And any excess shampoo that falls down, I just take it all the way down to the end of my hair. <clears throat> I don't sit under, I don't stand up at the sink anymore because I realize the longer my hair is, the longer it takes for me to shampoo my hair. So sitting under the sink, or put my hair under the sink for a long period of time. My back hurt, take too long, and I realized I was rushing. And I felt like I was maybe ripping or being rough with my hair since I was rushing. <clears throat> and I stopped shampooing my hair while in the shower probably over a year or so ago. I said, take too long. Like I said again, the longer your hair gets, the longer it takes to shampoo, detangle, and condition and all that. So by the time I finish doing all that, and it's time for me to take an actual shower and clean up, you know, wash my body, the water be all cold. So yeah, I don't shampoo my hair <clears throat> in the shower any longer. Something that I really love about Soapbox is for every product that's sold, they donate a bar of soap to a community in the locally or abroad. I think that's so amazing. You can purchase your own Soapbox products from Amazon, Soapbox.com, and at Sally's Breeze Supply Stores nationwide. So this whole section is completely clean. As you can see, the shampoo was all the way through my hair. My hair feels amazing. It's not stripped at all. 
nice and clean. This is the soap, so I didn't use a whole lot. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go rinse this out my hair, shampoo my hair for a second time, and I'll be back in a second. I'm back with the shampoo, rinsed out my hair. Nice and squeaky clean. Now I'm going in with the second product, which is the coconut oil conditioner. This conditioner restores moisture to your locks and it contains vitamin E and K and also is enriched with coconut. I'm gonna section my hair off into four sections. This is how I work with my hair, whether I'm styling, shampooing, whatever I'm doing with my hair, I always work in four sections because it's easier for me to manage my hair. It smells really good. It smells like coconut and cocoa butter. Mm. Oh, it felt good. It's nice and thick. Make sure I coat every strand. The conditioner also contains fatty acids that helps to protect hair by bonding to the hair proteins which helps with hair loss. What I usually do, if I can finger detangle, I'll finger detangle. If I feel like I need to run a comb through the section, if my fingers is not doing the job, I'll do that. The conditioner is applied throughout my whole head. So I was a little too heavy handed with the conditioner because I didn't expect it. I knew it felt a little thick, but it was thicker than what I thought. Not in a bad way, in a way that I didn't need as much conditioner as I initially put in my hair but it is so moisturizing it has great slip i'm not sure if you can hear my family downstairs they're watching the fight so it's so loud excuse me if you can hear them but uh, this first of all before i even talk about how i make my hair feel the size is 16 ounces i go through conditioner so fast because I co-wash my hair more than I shampoo my hair so this is nice size jar of conditioner good job it's a great size and I still have a whole lot left and I didn't use as much even though I was heavy-handed but it's nice moisturizing it contains shea butter that's why it's so moisturizing and good slip and it smells so good Next is the deep conditioner, but this actually feels amazing. I feel like it could be a deep conditioner. The texture, nice and thick. The way it has my hair feeling nice and hydrating and smooth. You see how thick it is? Like it's coating my hair. So I'm gonna go rinse this out. Then I'll be back with the deep conditioner. Just rinse the conditioner out my hair. And I'm going in with deep conditioner. This deep conditioner is packed with coconut oil to rejuvenate and quench your hair's thirst for hydration. Oh wow, it looks nice and thick. It is nice and thick. It smells just like everything else out the line. So I'm gonna learn my lesson like I did with the regular conditioner and try not to apply too much. Feels good, making sure I'm paying attention to my ends. Once again, don't forget if you wanna save 10%, use my coupon code down below in the description box so you can save 10% off your purchase with Soapbox. Okay, so now that the deep conditioner is evenly distributed through my hair, I'm going to use my hot head 
to how penetrate the conditioner and if you don't know how to use this hot head I'll leave a link below to my previous video when I was going a little bit in some more detail as to how to use it just pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds and it heats up so let me deep condition and I'll be back my hair is freshly shampooed condition deep condition and this is the last step that I'm going to do the only product that I'm using today that is not from box is my DIY with shea butter and I'll leave a link to this video right here pop up here so when I do my protective hairstyles I usually keep them in for about four to six weeks and when I use my whipped shea butter it helps my hair to stay moisturized throughout that entire time so <clears throat> I'm just going to let my hair I'm gonna stretch my hair and let it air dry overnight and how I stretch my hair is with five big jumbo plaits. So I'm gonna grab some of my whipped shea butter, my size amount. Make sure I coat my hair really good. And to lock in the moisture, The last product I'll be using from Soapbox is the Hair Mist. It says spray as much as desired, six to eight inches away from wet or dry hair. Yeah, it is. It smells good. I'm gonna spray a couple pumps. Wow. Ah, that smell amazing. And I'm just going to braid my hair like a regular braid or plait, whatever you want to call it. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you can know when I drop my next video showing you guys what protective style I chose to do. And also drop down in the comments and leave a comment if you want to guess what protective style I'm doing next. So this is how I wear my hair stretch with five big plaits. This hairstyle always reminds me of what love got to do with it. Tina Turner when she got kicked out the church in the beginning when she was still anime bullock. But yeah. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Second. I'm the leaks. <laughs> 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 You're so bad. Hi.